knowledge is a key factor to address climate adaptation. Ability to adapt to climate change and variability is primarily dependent on available knowledge resources. It is widely known that besides science and modern knowledge, many actors, institutions and networks play significant roles in the use, production and transfer of knowledge. Addressing the challenge of climate change hence requires a major shift from a linear thinking of knowledge production and transfer from a top-down approach to a more robust and cohesive approach. This video identifies non-state entities as knowledge brokers that operate between actors, practices and institutions. The knowledge brokers operate at local, regional and national scales as well as between them. These knowledge brokers may be individuals, groups or organizations and are specific to particular contexts. To understand this further, we explore organizations in India that promote knowledge used by communities directly dependent on natural resources. The first case is studied in Nagaland, which is a state in the northeastern region of India. This region has a humid subtropical climate and receives heavy monsoon rainfall. However, there has been a decreasing trend in the amount of rainfall received accompanied by changing weather patterns. With majority of the population directly dependent on natural resources for their livelihood, such as farming and non-timber forest produce, a rapid change in the climate can wreak havoc. However, local knowledge used among a few communities in this region seem to sustain livelihoods. Northeast Network in Chizami village of Nagaland promotes such knowledge. Yeah, Northeast Network came into being in 1995 during the uh, mobilization process of Beijing Conference. And uh, that was the first time when the, the voices of the Northeastern region was voiced in the larger platform. Northeast Network is um, based in three states now, that is in Assam, Meghalaya, and Nagaland. And the main vision is that we strive to build a gender-just society in northeastern region. We strongly believe that uh, the collective action of women will uh, contribute or bring about uh, societal change in, in our region. We try to uh, influence the lives of individuals so that we can bring about like collective change. So Northeast Network does uh, multiple uh, activities and we try to see that uh, our, our programs, our, our activities, the vision mission that has been you know, like carried out through three thematic areas that is, that is the, the governance and accountability, the gender-based violence against women and also the natural resource management. Then Nagaland works with uh, women farmers with, uh, we also work with uh, women in unorganized sector and they belong to three trade groups. One is the women farmers, the weavers and also the vendors. And here in, in uh, NEN uh, Resource Center, we do facilitate a lot of programs, especially with our women farmers our communities who are still practicing ecological agriculture, our communities who are still having strong, strong attachment with the knowledge systems, with the land, which, with their the soil, with their farmland. Northeast Network adopts innovative methods in providing recognition to the local practices that are sustainable and are culturally and socially relevant. Some of these activities include Revival of traditional agroecological farming, that is, jhum cultivation. Promoting ownership of community knowledge through adoption of methods like participatory video and revival of festivals like millet and biodiversity festivals. Engaging youth with traditional farming practices by setting up farm schools. Encouraging micro-upscaling by forming collectives such as weaving units and seed banks. NEN is doing small bit of you know strengthening by encouraging 
the kind of knowledge systems that the women farmers, that the farming communities in the villages have. It has also brought friends who practice ecological uh, agriculture, who practice sustainable way of you know food and farming systems from the region, from Meghalaya, Manipur, Assam, or even you know like from South India. Northeast Network feels that uh, this kind of uh, you know bringing together people, creating a platform is important. We will be continuing, uh, you know, to facilitate this process of bringing about farming communities of different stakeholders, people who are engaged in, in uh, at the policy level also, people who are engaged in the research work also. Nen strongly believes that, you know, collectivizing the local, the local practitioners, bringing them together, and then voicing their concerns together, advocating policy support for the kind of the kind of ecological agriculture they are doing so like in a way i should say like creating a learning circus with traditional knowledge systems and also modern uh, knowledge systems somewhere agroecology the the ecological agriculture practice that is being done by our farming communities need to blend with with the modern knowledge we strongly believe that the agro, uh, agroecological uh, agriculture which they are practicing is the answer, is the key to, to climate change. Anything to do with adaptation, we cannot play with one system, but it has to be different systems put together to address the climate crisis. It is also our, our uh, belief that Northeast Network cannot do everything. We are just a very small organization. So we do facilitate, you know, even interactions with research institutions like yours, research institutions like KVK, IICAR, the government departments. We also see that the local governance is very important, the village council and all. So, we try to bring in different stakeholders so that like it is on it is you know like from one from one level we can take it to another level because somewhere we need the policy support and that is the kind of role that we as notice network in our own small ways we are trying to connect different learning circles and different support systems that is from local to the government policy level and the global leadership should also acknowledge this, <laughs> not only here. The efficacy of fine-scaled local knowledge, especially those sensitive to changing climate, becomes challenging against the backdrop of developmental and social transitions. By reviving this and binding them to local governance, knowledge brokers like Northeast Network play a critical role in diversifying livelihood fostering social learning and ensuring gender equality. The utility of such revived local knowledge would be in a context different than they first existed. Knowledge brokers, thus, must bear in mind the dynamics of social and gender differentiation that may re-emerge with its revival.